<laughs> so obviously this has been renovated, but mm -hmm. it still feels, has that 1905 flavor. Right away, I see the staircase. Right, and you know what I like is that they match the dark wood floors with the darker staircase. Yes. And I'm guessing that this is probably the potential bedroom? Well, I would call it the front parlor mm -hmm. of this house, but um, I think you're absolutely right. You know, if you put two doors here, it would officially make this a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's got a closet. But if I lived here, I'd keep it as one big living space. I think I would too. But I have to admit, when I first walked into this house, the first thing I noticed was this archway. Yes. Sometimes for me, it's just simple little architectural finds like this that tend to pop. Yeah, I love this arch as well. All right, now here's the kitchen. Very nice kitchen. And I could see a good-sized family gathering around in here. Yeah, you know, we've seen a lot of kitchens, mm -hmm. and it looks like this one checks a lot of the boxes. Granite countertops, mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. nice. And more of a rustic backsplash here, a little bit... Uh, a little different. The thing that I like as well that just gives it a little bit more flair is the, the ceiling. I knew. I so, knew you were going to really gravitate yeah, towards there's that. There's a half vault. And then you have this very interesting, you know, different graded ceiling through, all the way throughout this space to the dining room. So it adds a lot of flavor. It does. Let's head up these beautiful mm -hmm. stairs. Okay, so here we have a bedroom. First bedroom. Yep. This is probably the biggest one. Don't probably, you think? especially because it's got the three windows. Mm -hmm. and it's, and to me, it's probably the best location in the house because you have a nice view of the trees. And bedroom number two, it's a little small. I don't think it's bad. No. Okay. Did you notice the archway? Another arch for I know. you. Well, here's bedroom number three. Okay, now if you walked in and said this was a small bedroom, I would agree with you on this. There's part. no denying <laughs> that. But you could fit a bed in here, but uh, probably an office would be better. Nursery. Or adding another bathroom. That's How about an that? idea. Okay. And two. The bathroom. The bathroom. Now, savor it, because this is the only bathroom. Well, so, I think we've seen the whole house. I know, and I'm feeling the pressure. Don't feel the pressure. Okay. Hello, there you are. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so what did you think? I love the flow of this floor. Mm -hmm. From the time you walk into the living room and then that den in the front, which could be a bedroom, mm -hmm. which I would leave it as a den, because that gives you just a big living space. Mm -hmm. And I love the windows on older homes because they tend to be larger. Lots mm -hmm. of natural light coming oh, in. Oh, sure. Definitely. Enough. Remember, this home is three bedrooms with a possible fourth. Yes. One bathroom. But we're detached with two parking spaces in the back. Yes. That's a okay. Bonus. We're under 1,300 square feet, so keep that in mind. Um, so I am going to come in at a list price of, I'm going to say $499,000. Okay. <laughs> John? So, okay, I'm going to go lock in with a very spontaneous price of $525,000. Christine? Yes. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Did I win? Oh, John, the list price of this home oh. is five twenty-five. Oh my god! No. Yes. <laughs> That's like you win. It's like the double showcase. Yes. That's the first it, time oh, that oh, has happened. Oh, Anacostia is your good luck charm. Yeah, I love <laughs> you, Anacostia. This is turning to my so, saddest episode yet. Since we're near Good That's Hope right. Road, there's good hope for you. For you. 